Some people in Vernon Hills are calling their community Vermin Hills. That's because of a handful of neighbors who say skunks are stinking up their homes and yards at a pace not seen in years. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross is live there with some of the reasons why this might be happening. Jeremy. Well, good evening, Erica. Some neighbors believe nearby development and construction is forcing skunks into neighborhoods just like the one I'm in right now. Still others believe this has everything to do with the recent weather trends that we've seen over the past several weeks and months. No matter what you believe, this stinks for more. You want to go for a walk? You'll have to excuse two-year-old lap mix Ollie. He's a bit skittish. <laughs> After a run-in with a skunk, leading to a dog that stunk, Ariella Wilcox opines on the odor. Ollie got sprayed in the face last night when he went out back. You smell it a lot. It's painful. Like, it almost hurt in my nose and mouth. Like spoiled eggs microwaved. Normally, Laura Miller would set up her patio on a night like this, but her lawn has attracted the unwelcome guests at a rate she hasn't seen in years. I just don't come out here anymore because I just don't want to have to deal with the skunks. So this is really a constant nuisance. It's a constant nuisance every single night and every single day. It's always so bad. I think it might be worse this year. The skunks are an issue every year. Officer Kim Christensen says he hasn't received an unusual amount of complaints this year, but says the village will help set up traps on public property. He adds the skunks might be more drawn to the ground that may harbor earthworms and grubs this year due to the unusually rainy and hot summer. It made everything a little more lush and a little more green, and there was a little more vegetation, a little more food for the skunks. How bad is the skunk problem here? It's crazy. It's crazy. I can't let my dog out at night. Now, police say if neighbors use lawn repellent against grubs and also best secure their garbage, that's a good way of cut back and cutting back on those so-called skunk appearances, though the people we spoke with said they've already taken those precautions. Live in Vernon Hills, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Jeremy.